It's one thing I like to do when uh, I build my models is uh, I like to do a, a, a build plan. So with this one here I'm starting to put a little build plan together. I haven't got too too far with it yet but I've done some of some of it so uh, I just thought I'd start off with uh, my little title page here HMCS Snowberry um, scale 1 and 144 uh, project build plan a little bit of a picture of it there um, in here i have just talk about video 1 kinda what I wanna do uh, like I said here HMCS Snowberry unboxing I'm gonna uh, do that um, talk about how I'm gonna document the planning and building of the ship which this is what I'm doing right now um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the box art um, I do have in here measure the size of the hull but I, that's on the box as well um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the history of the ship um, of course talking about the history uh, video one two we'll probably do that in some some more videos as as it goes on but um, start off with that um, I was gonna say here show the sprues that uh, should be changed out with PE um, not sure if I'm gonna go with the photo edge or not on this but uh, well, we'll decide uh, as I get going here with it uh, I do want to talk a little bit about the paint to be used on the video one as well so then just with my build plan this is what I'm going to do off camera so I just started with this here but um, so off camera I want to glue this section of the hull together fill in sand take some pictures of it and then this just uh, a little bit of notes for myself on uh, uh, building of the ship the ship was built by uh, Davy Shipbuilding uh, and Repairing Company in Louisan, Quebec Canada um, the ship was ordered 22nd January 1940. It was laid down 24th of February 1940 and then launched 8th of August 1940. The ship was commissioned 26th of November 1940 and then it ended service 8th of June 1945. Um, so the ship um, had an interesting uh, um, stint in the, in the Navy. Uh, it was decommissioned and returned. Uh, actually, the ship was bought from the Royal Navy, and then uh, uh, so it was built in in uh, Canada, given to the Royal, for the Royal Navy. But then, before the Royal Navy used it, it was uh, uh, became a Canadian HMCS, a Canadian ship HMCS uh, Snowberry. And then after um, it was finished in the war, it was returned to the Royal Navy. Uh, so it says here 8th of June 1945 um, it was scrapped at Middlesbrough UK in August of 1947 um, before it was actually scrapped it was used I think for target practice and stuff like that to, um, for that way so now yeah, kind of a not a good way for the ship to end but I guess it's uh, good in a way as uh, it was never sunk <laughs> Um, this is just a whole bunch of history on it for myself to um, doing my research and again here um, one thing uh, I wanted to make note at this section here and it was just in the top here which I thought was quite interesting when I was doing my uh, research but it says here the 20th of November 1943 um, HMCS Snowberry along with HMS Neen and HMS Calgary um, the three of those um, dropped depth charges and uh, sank the German U-boat U-536. Um, doing this history here, um, one of these, the Calgary and the Snowberry are kind of the same ship. Um, I could do maybe a model of the HMS Neen maybe, um, but I think it'd be pretty cool too to uh, do a model of the uh, U-boat U-536 um, just for a little bit of history on the ship itself that way as well. Um, further to this I was uh, doing um, some research and I found that um, the um, they sunk the the U-boat of course but the U-boat was actually destined for Canada um, which is really close it was headed into the Great Lakes uh, Lake Ontario is where it was gonna um, go of course it never got there uh, I didn't even get across the across the uh, Atlantic but uh, so it was destined for um, 
Canada and it was uh, I live in a small town on the north side of uh, Lake Ontario called uh, Newcastle Ontario and right next to Newcastle which would be west of Newcastle is a town called Bowmanville Ontario and uh, in Bowmanville there was uh, a German um, a camp there that was uh, um, made and set up to uh, house um, German officers that were captured it was called Camp 30 and uh, one thing that I um, had found out on this uh, U-536 was actually destined to uh, Canada and uh, was going on a mission to help rescue some of the officers from Camp 30. Well obviously that never happened but I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, I just started building this ship and then I noticed that it comes um, history on that ship. Uh, HMCS Snowberry actually comes really close to uh, the town I'm in right now which I thought was pretty awesome. So anyway um, just uh, some further history on the ship as well as well uh, and I did uh, a little bit of uh, notes on the U-536. Alright unboxing of the HMCS Snowberry. Start off with the box. Box art. Nice nice picture. I like how uh, Revel has on here level 5 so you kind of know what you're getting into right away. Um, shows nice big letters, the scale 1 to 144. Um, the amount of parts in here 501 parts um, your overall length of the ship is uh, 43.9 centimeters um, down in the corner down here in smaller letters is the box number and of course big letters the uh, ship itself and uh, the ship's uh, number is right here too you can see that um, on the side here is another picture of the ship I believe that is pretty much the same picture um, and again it has the level on here what the ship is the box number and then over here it just um, different languages again here but basically what it's saying is keep packaging for later questions um, the year that it was made um, and that there the rebels website on here um, box end more of the same stuff there and on here, again, same thing. And yep, on this side here, pretty much the same stuff as well. The back of the box is pretty cool too. As you can see, it's got some different um, photos of the ship up close. So some good reference um, that way for helping you uh, build the, the ship. Also down here, it's got another picture right here of all the sprues parts that come with it and then here is the paint color numbers um, the only thing with the paint colors on here it's just for uh, revel paints only so if you're using other paints you'll have to um, convert that so it's all in all nice box um, the only thing I don't like about this box is uh, normally when you get a model that I'm used to anyways you set it down here like this you lift the top off and you've got all your parts there with this one here you actually have to open the model up, box up from the side and then pull your parts out from the inside as you can see the box is empty I've already taken the parts out <laughs> so enough about the box that right there instructions I was having a look at the instructions I think they're pretty cool nice and colored again shows a really good detailed picture of the ship itself and uh, all the same information on the front here inside has a lot of uh, details here on, on uh, painting um, how to cut the sprue parts off things like that kind of cool and in here is a little bit of a color to uh, tell you what the different um, colors in there mean um, so it tells you a bit about that the only thing I don't really care too much about this here is um, the lettering is really small um, you can read it but you have to have some 
pretty good eyes, I think, to read it. And uh, one reason why I think it's so small is because there's many, many, many different languages. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 different languages in here, which is pretty cool. But with all that on there, it makes it pretty small uh, to find out where your language is. Once you get used to it, that's not that bad. Um, here's your, this page here is the paint callouts. Um, and then just get into the actual details of the model, which I think are really detailed. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, just quickly reference that. So it goes through the whole thing like that, really nice detail on that. On the back, again, is a bit of a paint um, details there on the, on the deck and on the port and starboard side of the hull. So that's pretty cool. Instructions are really nice. Um, so I'm not going to bore you with all the going through all the sprues and all that stuff in detail, but um, I'll show you how many there are. Uh, so this is all the sprues here. We've got this one as well, and then we've got this. Um, so this here, I just put this in a bag so I didn't lose the parts. Um, but this is all your the string here for the rigging. And of course, this here is your decals on there. So that's the decals. And then, of course, you've got one sprue of the white for the windows and uh, different things like that, search lights and stuff, I guess. You've got that, and then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then there's a little one in here, that's seven, and then another one, uh, eight. And then a little one, not nine. So you've got all those pieces like that in there. Well packaged, lots of package on that. Of course, I was looking at so if I'll open up and easier to get to, which which is fine. Um, but yeah, I like it. Nice and uh, nice, sturdy um, screws, and I don't think think don't think parts are going to fall off. Um, so now I know. Um, a lot of modelers uh, get rid right into the detail. Uh, of the ship, um, therefore, you can buy um, through Edward. You can buy um, three different uh, photo etch sets for this. Um, pretty costly, actually, uh, buying all three of them. Um, but I'm looking at it. This being my first ship that I'm building, I don't think I'm gonna really bother with uh, getting the photo etch at this time. I'm just gonna go ahead and and build this just with the parts that are here because um, just for sake of showing it real quick um, the parts are actually not too bad really um, if you get up here you see the railings in here the railings are really quite uh, quite good everything's quite detailed um, on here so that's that um, one thing I wanted to show you is here, this is the ladder right here. You can see that, but that's right here. This ladder here, that's going up the main mast. It's actually really good. Um, I, I have watched some videos. People are commenting that it's not too, it's not really uh, to scale for the size of the model, but um, it looks good. I'm gonna go with it. Uh, I'm not too worried about that this point in time. Uh, yeah, and everything else is pretty much detailed quite a bit. Uh, there's one other one, actually right here, this one here. I just wanted to show you this one for this detail that you see, but there is um, some of the guns up there, right in this spot right here. Guns there, and there's this one down here too, right there. So pretty good. Might change my mind as I get building it, but as of now, that's what I think I'm gonna go with out there. Wow. I started looking at the hull itself. I just uh, joined it together. Um, looks pretty good fits actually quite nice really once I glue it together I don't I think it'd be minimal putty that I'll have to put in that to 
seal the seams up but it's already got all the portholes drilled out of it um, up here for the anchor chain to go here through that's uh, already got the holes drilled out of it looks good it's got a spot for the prop in the back already set to go I think it looks pretty good nice and sturdy 